Hey Royalty! Hey Empress! Hey Empresses! How are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment, y'all. First things first, I only have one YouTube page, one Instagram page. Don't get scammed. You can only book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. Let's begin. And I'm sending out a bonus of peace, love, and light always. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, please come down and protect me, guide me, and keep me safe. And please come down and protect me, guide the viewers that have clicked on this video today. What other messages today for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Moon? So you guys could be connecting to an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy is here. Or you guys could just be free. Oh, I see it. <laughs> Y'all are winning. 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 Like, Y'all are winning the six of wands. Oh, yeah. This is public recognition. This is praise. This is you having your way. You getting your way. This is major blessings coming towards you. Okay, this is you working your way up to a place where now you are able to inspire others off of your journey, off of your experiences, off of things that you have went through. Okay, you have overcame. You are a victor in a situation. There's people that are praising you and looking up to you. Also, have people that are hating you at this time, Sagittarius, because you're blessed. You're blessed. With the world card, you completed something major. Okay, ooh, I didn't mean to show y'all that. <laughs> um, oh, y'all completed something major. <laughs> y'all completed something major. With the world card being here, there was a completion. Okay, this is achievements coming in. There could even be some type of delays or stagnation, some type of holdup at this time. Okay, because there's a new beginning that's on the way for you. Okay, things are still being worked out for you and your highest good. It's like God is still working out things for you, for your path. So it could be some type of delay, but while you are waiting, you're seeing, you know, the fruits of your labor coming in. You're seeing your blessings. You're seeing your harvest. What was that card? Oh, yeah, temperance. That's your energy, Sagittarius. You're very peaceful. You're very balanced, okay? You could be, like, a brainiac, very intelligent, because I'm seeing, like, geometry, ge geometry, Astronomy, I wanted to say. You guys could be into astronomy, okay, into mathematics. Or you guys are deep thinkers with temperance, very peaceful, very balanced, very loving, very kind energy, individual. You guys are also a wife or a husband. I'm seeing the ring standing out. So it's like you want something traditional. You want something that is blessed under Father God. It's like you're not trying to be out here. And as I said that, three, two, one on the timer. It's like you're not trying to be out here just willy-nilly, like doing whatever. Like, no, no, no. Yeah, this is acceptance. It could have been some type of third-party situation that you guys were dealing with as well. Yeah, it's, I see you guys disconnecting from that. It's an ending of a cycle with number nine being here. The number 21 could be significant. Number 14 could be significant. The number nine could be significant. You guys could be, um, these dates could be like a birth date. I'm also seeing here, yeah, with acceptance. You guys are accepting a situation for literally what it is. It could have been like a third party situation here. And it's like somebody here has chosen to be with one of the options or one of the people. This could even be you, Sagittarius. You could be making the decision about who you want to be with who you want to settle down with. Yeah, this is deep reflection. Virgo energy is here. Sagittarius, your energy is here. Scorpio is here as well with the world card. That's also Taurus energy as well. Leo and Aquarius. Any of these signs could be significant to you. You could have them in your birth chart. You could be connecting to one. Okay, with the hermit card being here, this is introspection, shadow work. You doing the hard work. You doing the healing. It's like you may not even be telling people that you're just reflecting on you. Okay, you're going within for certain answers. This is like you not being negatively influenced by anyone or anything. The hermit also gives me like 
passed over life energy. Like you have a passed over loved one, an ancestor that's guiding you, that's keeping you safe, that's giving you insight, that's giving you the clarity that you need at this time to move forward. This is a very beautiful energy for you, Sagittarius. It's a very beautiful energy that you guys are in, male or female. And it's like you're respecting yourself. It's coming across as a regal energy. Okay, this is also earth, angel energy, temperance, being very balanced, harmonious, keeping things together. This is you choosing your path, and it's like you are able to get your crown at the end. Yeah, the eight of swords is here. There's some type of mental stress. Okay, this could be your energy, you guys. I don't see you guys in this energy, but for some of you guys, you guys could be, you know, a little nervous if you guys are on the right path or making the right decision you are Sagittarius this could also be people around you that are stressed out with the eight of swords oh yeah I see it <laughs> I see it Sag with the seven of wands <laughs> yeah you're standing your ground you know your purpose your calling and your mission you're also protecting yourself you're protecting your assets you're protecting like your energy at this time things that you are working on things that give you purpose things like things that oh that are, are important to you. Mm. Your intuition is telling you to be on guard as well. You're also very protected in the spiritual realm. Like you have protection around you. This is your energy, Sagittarius, male or female. Okay, you're going after your passions. This is also you like being led to take action to defend yourself. You could be having to stand your ground in a situation with the seven of wands. Okay, this could be you like having to like really put up boundaries for yourself, healthy boundaries. Yeah, which is bringing in good karma for you. Justice. There even could have been like a court situation that you could be dealing with at this time and things are going to work out for, in your favor with justice and the upright. Things are going to work out for you the way that they are supposed to. Yeah, somebody here could have been trying to get away with things like doing backhanded things, underhanded things especially in the court of law or in some type of court situation that you could be in, you could be finding this out. You could be like, literally, it could have been an Aquarius that was doing this. <laughs> Sagittarius. The Empress, what? <laughs> oh man, beautiful, gorgeous energy. God is all around you. God is, God is within you, so you will not fail. You could have Taurus in your chart. Libra could be in your birth chart as well. This is a very fertile, a very blessed, peaceful energy. You're attracting what serves you. This is also like you being able to maneuver in tough situations. It's like you're, you're not one to play around with you. No one to stand your ground and stand up for yourself, but you're doing it with grace. Okay? Mm. I see that. Yeah, you've been working on this for a while. What's the, what's justice about? You guys have been working on this for a while. You guys may work from home with the Eight of Pentacles. You could be a business owner. What's the Seven of Wands? Yeah, you're protecting your new beginning because you have diligently been like watering something, giving to something, nurturing something with the Seven of Pentacles. You guys have the Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands here. So it's, yeah. It's like you are protecting something that is yours. Seven, seven is here. This is a confirmation, also a warning for some of you that you may need to protect what's rightfully yours, your money, your riches, things that you're taking action on that you may, hmm, there's something that's going to take some time with the seven of pentacles or it could have taken some time to mature and it's like now it's coming in. Now you're reaping your harvest. You're seeing things cultivate with the ace, I'm sorry, with the, Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Wow. A lot of financial security, a lot of blessings around you, a lot of abundance, a lot of fruitful energy. You're able to manifest what you want. With the Empress being here, this is you walking in the light. This is you being in your purpose. This is you knowing who you are. You respecting yourself. This is you demanding respect as well. With the Ace of Wands, it's something new, something that has taken place in your life that mm, you're very inspired to go action. Like you're very inspired to take action towards it. Something has like reignited you and you're blocking out anybody that's like making you question it with the seven of pentacles because you know it's something. Didn't I just say you was manifesting? I just said you're manifesting this with the magician and what popped out the manifestation card. 
You have all the tools in the kingdom to do this. Okay, it's like God is saying you got this because you know yourself. You're also very close to Father God with the Empress. Yeah, Five of Wands, it's bringing havoc to people. It's bringing havoc. It's like people could have wanted to bring you drama or conflict, but you're manifesting a way out of it. You're getting out of it. Yeah, people wanted to keep you in some type of strife. It even could have been people around you that was trying to manifest difficulties for you. What's the Seven of Pentacles? Yeah, and they're regretful because you are able to overcome it all. With the Five of Cups and the Chariot, you're moving forward successfully. This is you being able to beat out opposition, any type of conflict, and you're holding back. With the Four of Pentacles, it's like you're, you're knowing who to give to and who not to give to. There could have been like an Earth sign here, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn that could have been trying to keep you captive in different ways or keep you from like knowing your purpose, knowing your self-worth, knowing mm, what to give to, what not to give to with the Seven of Pentacles, what to plant seeds in. What's the justice card? Things are rightfully so. Ooh, things are rightfully. They're rightfully so. They're rightfully so. And they're happening the way that they're supposed to. With Ten of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Y'all popping out as a King of Pentacles individual. You guys can have Earth in your chart. What's the King of Pentacles? Hmm. It's like male or female, people are going to be looking at you as like intimidating. Wow, with the King of Pentacles. And the, what's the King of Pentacles? It's people watching you from a distance, Sagittarius, that are like watching you build an empire for yourself. You could also be meeting a King of Pentacles individual. Okay, you could be this empress and you could be coming in contact with someone that is loyal, faithful, honest, that has a bag, that has riches, that has wealth. Because you don't want to be rich, you want to be wealthy. You know, you want to build generational wealth for yourself, for your lineage, for your family, for your bloodline. So this is you being able to meet someone that is on your level. The empress can be with the king of pentacles or an emperor. So it's like you're, yeah, you're about to meet someone who you guys could be marrying, setting, settling down with, building a life with, having happily ever after with. Wow. This is you, like not having to want or need for money, okay? This is it coming naturally to you with the Ten of Pentacles being here. <laughs> I keep saying that because I'm like, ow. And this is like your just desserts. This is your good karma coming in. What's this Ten of Pentacles? Yeah, because you took a leap of faith on you. You bet it on yourself with the Fool card. You trusted in God. Okay, is you freed yourself. You could have let something go. It's like you took a spontaneous risk on yourself, Sagittarius. And it is looking up in your favor. Yeah, you were able to overcome some type of strife. Somebody here wanted to keep you in battle, Sagittarius. It could have been a Leo. What was the opposition? There was somebody that wanted to fight with you, argue with you, keep you discontent. You beat this. You, you overcame it. With the strength card being here, this is you being able to beat out temptation, opposition, addictions, you over you being able to tame yourself within, okay, you learning yourself so that other people cannot play on your weaknesses, you turning your weaknesses to strength, okay, three to one, as I said this, this is you coming out on top, Whew. Mm. it's like, what is this opposition? It could have been an earth sign, wow, it could have been people that were wanting to get to know you in different ways that were saying that they wanted to get to know you, but they had some type of motive in regards to your resources or finances with the Page of Pentacles. What's the Page of Pentacles? It could have been an earth sign. Yeah. These people wanted to build lives with you with the Ten of Cups. It could have been somebody here from your past. Okay. This person could have reached out through, who is the Page of Pentacles? It could have, yeah. Somebody here, oh. Mm -hmm. so, Queen of Pentacles. This person was looking at you as like a resource. Ah, oh, man. Like a cash cow. You got away from this person. You were, oh, man. You got away from this individual. Yeah, you chose to focus on you, Sagittarius. Because somebody here wanted you for your money. They were saying that they could, like, you could build a life with them with the Ten of Cups, or they were coming towards you with intentions on wanting to build a life with you. Could have even been wanting to get you pregnant with the Ten of Cups, wanted to have a family with you. Somebody here wanted to pursue you with the Knight of Cups. What's the Knight of Cups? 
It could have been a king of swords person. Okay, if this is a female for the men, this is like a queen of swords. Okay, she's really, she's been hurt. She's unhealed and she's deceptive. This is a male for, for the women. This is a male. This is someone that's cynical. With the seven of swords and the king of swords, this is someone that feels that they can outsmart you, outwit you. This could be someone that is militant. They could be a lawyer or doctor type of individual, someone that knows how to handle themselves, know how to articulate themselves. Okay, they could even like work in like the court of law or they could have some type of like high level, high ranking position in society. This is someone that comes with ill motives and ill intentions. Okay, and they wanted to try to set you up in different ways. Somebody here was trying to set you up. Yeah, you closed that cycle out. You got away from that person or you had already like spotted a pattern spot some type of like lesson that was trying to repeat itself and you close that out Sagittarius I see you closing it out completely with the world card yeah and it blowing somebody's mind Woo! you blew somebody's mind yeah they did not see this coming with the two of swords oh my gosh <laughs> that you were going to trust your intuition that you're a seer you're empathic you're very intuitive somebody here didn't realize that you were really going to trust your intuition about them they thought that you were going to just believe in the fairy tales that they were selling you. The false dreams, even though they weren't trying to give you much with the page of pentacles, they could have been just telling you, you know, to, to make you feel like it was emotional fulfillment. But really, this person had motives. The king of swords, they have motives. You overcame this, Sash. Ooh. You overcame this. Yeah, you let somebody go. That wanted you to trust in them. And what's... <laughs> The crazy thing about it is this person's a king of swords. They're not even your match because they're coming out as a queen of pentacles, right? You're about to meet your match, a true counterpart. The king of pentacles was already out. Somebody here was trying, it's like a, a counterfeit. They were trying to mask themselves as being emotionally stable or grounded or someone that, that you can secure or settle down with. But this person was up in the air. They could be here today and mm -mm. This is like air energy. Somebody here that is not really, they're not about the action. They're not about the, the true commitment that you may want from a true king of pentacles individual. So yeah, you let that go. You needed to. <laughs> you needed to, Sagittarius. Yeah, because something was unlikely. Something was unlikely for you to give you what you wanted. Yeah, within the next few weeks, I'm seeing here, things are going to be working out for you in, the, in your betterment your highest good. This is also you going through recovery. You could be healing, working your way, working, doing the steps that you need. Yeah, this is also like deep meditation and reflection. Why? Because romance is here. <laughs> romance is coming in, Saj. I hope this resonated with you. May peace and blessings be to you always. And I will be seeing you on the next video.